Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here, back with another played up automation tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about lava cakes. And lava cakes is part of the mini cafe mod that can be found on the Steam Workshop uh, under the played up section. And this is uh, another creation by uh, Nova off of Steam. They're also on the played up Discord as well. This is again part of that mod. There's teas, there's scones, there's croissants or croissants, depending how French you are. And anyway, we're going to rock and roll this. So this is my compact design. Now, yes, you can combine this onto this, but it doesn't change the spacing. Again, as always, your I use my mouse, your prep station and your grabber. These are always optional, but highly recommended. This is why I never end up making these tight into these automations because this is obviously optional so the way it works is you have an egg you crack your egg you combine that with a pad of butter or a piece of butter which butter is a, such a long thing to get it takes five tiles butter to a grabber it could be any kind of grabber it doesn't matter it doesn't have to point into the portioner it'll portion off a piece or a slice of butter conveyor belt or grabber goes to a combiner they combine the egg and the butter combined and then while that's happening, the chocolate is being double chopped. So you have to chocolate chop it one time into the squares, then one other time into like, I guess, the fine powder or whatever you want to call it, the fine chocolate. That's combined with the cracked egg as well as the piece of butter. And it's combined and let's just gonna run it because it takes quite a while and it's gonna be cooked. Now, you may say, well, do I really want to use a heated mixer? Now remember, this is gonna be this is not a main dish or a starter, right? It is it, it's, it's acting as a dessert. So because it's a dessert, you're not gonna need it right away. And, and you see how long this takes. I mean, this is probably 12 to 15 seconds, 12 seconds. It reminds me of turkey cooking. Um, the way that, that lava cake works as of now, again, this is the time of recording, this can serve two people. So it's similar to how like the cheese boards work. Uh, where they can serve or the breadboard on oh, no, the breadboards are solo but the cheese boards you know can serve up to three people per per table or per you know order i guess this can do two so if you're looking at it that way you know if two people are ordering it great but if you have groups of larger than two you're going to need more than that if you have groups you know that are only one person wants a dessert or something like that if you have uh, individual dining you're going to need more but again it doesn't matter so is it is it as it is a dessert you're not going to be going through them that quickly but i mean if you have a bunch of orders and you're rushing around say you have hamburger or something with this why you would have that together i don't know but you could so this may be a little slow now you can i'm just going to break off of this you guys have you can see how this works now you can break off of this and basically what i would do is from this get rid of this and i would put in a rapid mixer which is significantly faster than the heat well it's not faster to cook so you could use a regular mixer to combine that's that's irrelevant i guess i should say it that way you could use a conveyor mixer and then you want to push that into a safety hob and then from the safety hob you then want to pull that off into a prep station so it's not it wouldn't really change that much i can show you very 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 quickly how what it would kind of look like it would look like something like this and then obviously again these are optional how you want to lay these out it doesn't really matter we'll put our safety hob in here and let's fire it up now the beauty with this which really only takes one extra ingredient actually that's not going to work now will it it does work ha 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 say a trick you guys and the reason why it works is because the um the chocolate is going to be here and the butter and i'm just moving the, the butter and the egg are going to be ready to go and two things can combine onto one object if the object in front of it is is blocked which here it is blocked and the way that the combiners work is they're instant and as you see here i tricked you guys a bit it does work so if, if it'd be me i would rather go with conveyor mixer here um and then go into this now if you have a regular mixer you would want to have a you want to have a, a smart grabber pulling the this part here not the full one out because if not what's going to happen is the grabber will pull this and then it's going to send it along and this will end up could end up cooking faster than this makes it could just uh be bad i don't want to explain how it goes it's just the way the mechanics work but for me do this method or put in a smart grabber right here and then this here doesn't need to be a smart grabber at all this could this you can negate this being a smart grabber uh, if you want to you can even combine um this into the butter and then put it to the mixer again there's various ways to do it but if you're looking out of this if you're looking for a compact way to do it um just stick with what i said basically is is this uh it, it's it's cheaper to do it this way because this is a mixer the heated mixer costs 60 coins which is pretty easy 
a conveyor mixer is 120 plus 60 for the safety hops right there you're at 180 coins versus 60 coins so it's third the cost 33 percent you know cost or 66 percent cheaper to do this and but again it all depends on what you have if you have safety hubs laying around you have some of these laying around you can automate this quite easily anyway guys i want to thank you for watching uh, i didn't want to draw on drown out there too much but i did want to show you the two different ways to do it uh, i would prefer doing it this way the most compact which is a three three up and down by four 12 full squares to me that's the best way to do it most compact way to do it all right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. It'd be much appreciated. And if you're enjoying this series of automation tutorials or any other video on my channel, hit that subscribe button. Take the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And I'll catch you guys in the next automation tutorial. Take care now.